Hi everyone! Many of us give our hearts to the process of growing tomatoes, the choice of varieties, the gentle care of the seedlings, and of course, the constant attention given to the plants throughout the season. But how nice it is when, in response to our concerns, the plants finally begin to give fruit, which in some tomatoes resemble the shape of a heart, as if to thank us for the effort we put into growing tomatoes. Today we are going to talk about the past heart-shaped tomato varieties of the season. And if you're a fan of these varieties too, please take your seats and let's get started. The first variety in today's review will be red. It's also mentioned in its name, George Dezicus Italian Red. George Dezicus has been growing these tomatoes for over 26 years. He got the seeds from an old Italian who brought them from Italy to Canada. From there, the seeds found their way to the United States decades later and then all over the world. By early August, this tall variety reached a height of 5 feet 7 inches or 1.7 meters when grown in two stems. The fruits vary in shape, from heart-shaped to more rounded, elongated, resembling the shape of ox heart tomatoes. The tomatoes are bright red in color, slightly ribbed and look delicious. At the same time, the fruits were getting bigger and bigger during the season. By the way, thanks to the fact that the bunches are rather short. They don't need to be tied up, even though they weigh a lot. The first tomatoes harvested weighed in at around 10 ounces or from 250 to 300 grams, but later on they were much bigger and exceeded 1 pound 2 ounces or half a kilo. Now let's take a look at what's inside. The flesh is smooth, reddish pink with no hollows. The taste is very good, deep and intense. George Dezicus Italian Red is an ideal red tomato for a salad or a slicing, sweet, without any noticeable acidity. Fruits with a thin skin and a rich flavor, inherent in the best examples of red and pink tomato varieties. That's why I definitely liked this old Italian variety. Another tomato heart from Europe that I want to tell you about is Zebra Apricot Heart, a relatively new variety of bicolor tomato created in 2007 by Jean-Claude Bacher in France. This is not the first time I planted these tomatoes, so I was expecting them to be tall and stopped them at 5 feet 11 inches or 1.8 meters in the middle of August. The tomatoes are yellow with pink streaks, slightly ribbed at the stalk, elongated, heart-shaped, with a thin skin, but not prone to cracking. More importantly, they are big. The weight of the fruit started from almost 10 ounces or 300 grams and reached 1 pound or 500 grams and more, despite the fact that the maximum declared weight should be 14 ounces or 400 grams. The flesh is dense, yellow-pink in color, and the amount of pink tones increases as it ripens. Tomatoes are exceptionally sweet and fragrant. I could not catch any acidity. This is certainly one of the best bicolored tomatoes in my collection, both in taste and appearance. Juicy, buttery and beautiful yellow-pink hearts. In addition, from season to season, its yield in my conditions only increases, so I like the zebra apricot heart tomato variety more and more. Of course, I could not pass up a tomato that I have admired incessantly throughout the season. Brad Lake Yellow is a rare and surprisingly beautiful variety that was obtained by a farmer near the lake of Brad in the canton of Vaux in Switzerland. Indeterminate plants with a strong growth. When formed in two stems at the beginning of August, they passed the mark of 6 feet 7 inches or 2 meters. The tomatoes are heart-shaped, strongly ribbed, bright yellow-orange in color and absolutely all different shapes. You just can't find two of the same fruit. And they are amazingly beautiful and elegant. Every time I passed by these plants, I involuntarily stopped my eyes and impatiently waited for the first tasting. The fruit weighed in the neighborhood of 9 ounces or 250 grams, which is probably not much for a beefsteak tomato, but good enough for a heart-shaped one. Usually, one 
talking about the beauty of a particular variety, I must often pay attention to bicolor tomatoes. But this is the case when a tomato of apparently ordinary yellow color looks like a work of art. The perfection of the lines flowing smoothly from the stalk to the tip just couldn't help but be admired. If I were an artist who decided to paint the perfect yellow tomato, I would paint brat like yellow. The flesh is juicy, smooth, orange in color without any core. The seeds are not just few, there are very few, but some amount are still managed to collect. The flavor is complex and fruity. It resembles the apricot brandy wine tomato, which I consider one of the best yellow varieties. Very deep and intense sweet tomato flavor, with no noticeable acidity, a perfect combination of beauty and flavor. It's time to tell you about one of the most enjoyable discoveries of the season, a tasty tomato called Yoder's German Pink. 100% my favorite variety of pink heart-shaped tomatoes with a small nipple. The plants are very powerful and tall, reaching 6 feet 7 inches or 2 meters by the end of July. And I'm not going to complain about the yield, it was quite good, even in the first season. I really liked the appearance of fruits. The first tomatoes weighed about 8 to 11 ounces or 240 to 305 grams and the size only increased by the top bunches. The color on the cut is just a bombshell, deep pink. I can confidently say that the inside of this tomato is even brighter than the outside. The color is solid, very beautiful. I do not know if I should tell you how juicy they are. You can probably see everything yourself. And it seems to be a tradition. But as with many other tasty tomatoes, in Yoder's German Pink as it turned out to have very few seeds. The flavor is simply gorgeous. This is the benchmark for homegrown pink tomatoes. Yoder's German Pink is the perfect combination of sweetness and just as importantly acidity, which I especially appreciate in tomatoes, a taste that was able to impress me. The name of the next variety is due to the fact that its shape and color of its fruits resemble a candle flame. The Night Candle Tomato is a mysterious collection variety, the origin of which, in spite of all my efforts, I was not able to establish. So hopefully my review about this tomato will bring more information about it. The variety is productive. Plants are tall and I stopped their growth in August at a height of 5 feet 11 inches or 1 0.8 meters. The tomatoes are elongated, strongly ripped, yellow with a nipple, and at full ripeness they turn a bright orange color. They look beautiful and unusual, and I harvested them throughout the season. On average, the weight of tomatoes was from 8 to 10 ounces or from 240 to 280 grams, and the plant has time to give a lot of these fruits before the onset of frost. The flesh is dense, uniformly bright orange in color with few seeds. Despite the presence of hollows, tomatoes are very juicy and sweet, with a pleasant acidity, which only complements its rich flavor. This is just the kind of tomato that you will want to eat fresh. Plus, they store well, another great yellow-orange variety that has made its way into my collection. So that was today's journey into the world of heart-shaped tomato varieties. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, because very soon I will tell you about 5 more heart-shaped varieties that I also liked. Thanks for watching this review and of course, love your tomatoes and they will pay you back. This is the Lucky Garden channel and see you soon.